First up, the DF-17 conventional missile formation led by Major Generals Zhang Jianxiang and Wang Xingbo. The DF-17s are used for precision strikes against medium and close-range targets. This is the weapon's first public appearance. comes the CJ-100 cruise missile formation led by Major Generals Wang Zixian and Li Jiaqin. The CJ-100 is the latest in CJ series, and this is the first appearance in the National Day Military Parade. The hypersonic weapon features high precision and long-range strike capability, as well as fast response. missiles. This time, the DF-26, compatible with both nuclear and conventional warheads. Leading the formation are Major Generals Zhang Jichun and Liu Hongjiang. The DF-26's advantages are strong mobility and flexibility in launch location. Precision strikes on ground and underground targets, as well as those at sea, make it a strong deterrent. Now comes the JL-2 long-range ballistic missile formation led by Rear Admirals Wu Dongzhu and Liu Wenpao. The second generation JL-2 can be launched from nuclear submarines, providing sea-based nuclear deterrence. Now come the modified DF-31A nuclear missiles. The formation is led by Major Generals Yuan Dehua and He Jun. The DF-31A is China's second generation solid fuel intercontinental strategic nuclear missile. It features high mobility and adaptability and allows rapid deployment and precision strikes. And this is DF-5B nuclear missile formation led by Major Generals Wang Xiaochu and Deng Rongzhen. The system can carry multiple warheads and excels at both assault and defense.
and here's the last equipment formation. It features DF-41 nuclear missiles. It's led by Major Generals Zhao Qiuling and Sun Le. The DF-41 is an intercontinental strategic nuclear missile. Its purpose is for both balancing power and securing victory. It has a pivotal role in China's strategic nuclear strengths. China's missiles include ballistic missiles and cruise missiles, as well as conventional warheads and nuclear warheads. They are deployed in the mountains and the ocean in defense of national security and world peace.